Hi Gemini, this is a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be for all of you. And the messages will be general. So you can always watch one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. And the roles can be reversed in general readings. So let's see, what is going on with Gemini? Second half of May. All right, we have return and we have third party. Okay. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun, right? The way I'm seeing this, um, it feels like there was a, a, a third party serving as a barrier in this connection. It could be another person. It doesn't have to be. It can be a situation. Whatever the case is, I feel like it was there and maybe, you know, there was some movement away from it. Maybe it seems like there's, like it's coming back. Um, and it, when... I mean, it coming back, it doesn't necessarily mean as in the same way as it was before, okay? But it feels like maybe there is some kind of this third party just coming back up, even just energetically or in the air. We'll see. So let's, let's clarify and see what this is about. Or, you know, this could have already happened and you may already know know what this is about. Um, so let's see, though. Let's get the details for this situation for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so for you, we have the Moon. The Three of Wands and the Four of Cups. All right, so yeah, it feels like, you know, you... This could even be a fear of, of the third party returning um, because starting off your energy with the moon, it feels like there is something here and having the Three of Wands right after that, it feels like there's something here that you are kind of expecting, something that you are waiting for that is actually based on fear and it almost like you're expecting disappointment. You're expecting to be disappointed um, in some way. Let me see what is going on with them and then we're gonna clarify. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the Star, and we have the Empress. Well, I mean, to be honest, so far I'm not seeing much of a third party. Um, so it could be actually that it is a fear or something that you are concerned about or something that you are um, almost expecting, expecting to be disappointed here. Uh, because for them and their energy, I do see that there is honesty. I see that there is truth, authenticity. I see that there is some healing or that things are moving in a way where it is leading this person towards you. I mean, having the Empress here, it's almost like spirit saying no, like it's just you here. Let's see what is coming up. Maybe it is in the future. Let's see the Hermit, the Three of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. And the message for you here is the Knight of Cups. All right, so it feels like there might be a little bit of a withdrawal. Um, I'm mostly getting that this would be on your side, although it doesn't have to be, but it just feels like it is mostly from your side if you were resonating with the, with the first energy here. Um, and I do feel like that might lead to a little bit of, of pain on your end. However, it's, you know, if you need time, you need time to process whatever it is here because that's what I'm seeing here. I feel like, you know, there's something here that you might be having a little bit of a hard time managing, um, trying to figure out, trying to bring into balance. But ultimately, I feel like you, like you will. So let's clarify. that. I mean, 
mean, especially with that Knight of Cups there, I feel like that is love coming in. All right, so let's clarify the moon. We have the Five of Wands and we have the Four of Wands. All right, so for some of you, there could definitely have been, this could be that maybe at some point there was another commitment that was involved, either a person or a work commitment or just a, a something else that did carry a lot of conflict with it. And I feel like this is you being conflicted again of that, of that happening. So now it's just being confirmed to me even more that it's like, there's this fear of other people getting involved here between the two of you, which would bring conflict also to your, to your connection. But because it's the moon, I feel like this is something that you're not able to see clearly maybe this is, or it could for some of you be um, something that happened in the past and feels to you like the emotions are resurfacing possibly because you may not have healed it okay um so it's going to be a little bit different for everybody but it feels like this energy of outside influence is coming back back up and it's creating some fear in you as well so let's see the three of wands Page of Swords and the Lovers. Yeah, it feels so. It's almost like with this Page of Swords, like you are being very, very um, overly, overly observant, overly um, just really. For some of you, it could even be a little bit of spying, um, just really like inspecting every little detail because you're waiting to see if there is going to be um, something else here. It, almost like you're 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 looking for that for that disappointment because sometimes when we are expecting something to happen even if it is negative the wait for it to happen or the not knowing if it's going to happen or not can be more torturous than it actually happening so sometimes we feel subconsciously that there will be some relief if we do find something to confirm our own our own fears. Let me see the four of cups. This might even be for some of you. This might even be something new. It could be that there is um, that it is a new third party. Maybe that there is somebody here, and 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 you are still you know kind of really really curious to find out what it is that is going on here and feeling disappointed about it yeah so clarifying the four of cups we have the eight of swords again i feel like for the most part this is a lot of fear like whatever you think is going on with this person that is deceitful that involves a third party or that creates fear in you i feel like it's mostly an illusion i feel like it's based out of your own fear and that you are over analyzing um the situation possibly now if this is someone that has you know cheated on you in the past because that's not going to be the case for everyone okay just to make that clear that is not the case for everyone but if that is your situation then yes of course you have every right to not to not be trustful of this person all right if you are together but if that is the case you know then that is something that needs to be to see if you can work that out or not and if you're not with this person well you know then all right, that's, that could be a, a totally different situation. And yeah, Mannix is here to say that he agrees, but let me get him before he <laughs> burns his whiskers and messes up our spread here. Okay. So let's move on to what is going on with this person. I actually really want to clarify the star.
All right, the Six of Swords. All right, so whatever, if there is something that has happened in the past, what I'm seeing here is that this person is leaving that in the past. This is an energy of leaving um, old baggage behind, leaving conflict behind, and moving towards something that is a lot more peaceful, that is a lot more healing, that is just more in alignment with one's own higher self. All right, moving towards calmer waters. And especially when it's together with the star here, this does come with healing and it does come with a lot of hope. So, I, I mean, I'm seeing that this person is genuine. Let me clarify the Empress. And if there wasn't something in the past, again, I mean, it's this person really just moving away from conflict overall, moving forward towards something, you know, that is peaceful, not wanting conflict <laughs> with you and really having hope for this connection. So clarifying the Empress, we have the Sun and the Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, we have both the Ace of Swords and we have the Sun. These are very um, authentic oriented cards. This is all about authenticity. This is about things not being hidden. I feel like you feel like you're in the dark, but this person is being um, honest. Also together with the Knight of Swords, this person is coming forward in a very honest way. There's just a lot of honesty, honesty here. And this person is honest um, about how they feel about you if there has been communication. So let's see what is coming up. Let's clarify the Hermit. All right, the Three of Swords and the Page of Wands. Huh, somebody's feeling hurt here. Um, I do feel, I, I feel like it's you for most of you, but for some cases, it could even be the other person feeling, feeling this hurt if you're not, if you're not trusting them, um, especially if, if they haven't given you much reason to not trust them as well. All right. So yeah, take that, take that as it resonates, but I do feel like somebody is pulling away here. Somebody is really kind of going within and it's because they feel hurt. It's because they feel hurt. It could be you. Um, and I do feel like, you know, by doing that though, there is something good that might come out of it. Cause well, first of all, we have the three of swords twice. So this is suggesting a lot of pain here. And I do feel like there is a way out of it. All right. Having that page, page of wands there. That's very, um, hopeful for things to be done in a little bit of a different way. And I feel like whoever is going within it is because they want to make some kind of a shift here and possibly move in a in a different type of a way towards healing whatever this is let me clarify the three of swords all right the tower and the seven of pentacles All right, I, I can't help, help it but feel like this is you. Again, I feel like this is just you <laughs> down here. Um, I feel like you're, you know, what this is saying is that if you stay in this energy of fear, it might create this tower for you where you feel a lot of a pain, but I almost feel like it's for no reason. I feel like with the seven of pentacles, it's almost like you're kind of planting those seeds to be disappointed, kind of like setting things up where it, I feel like it's just going to create maybe like an argument or some tension between the two of you where things just kind of blow up. Um, again, the roles can definitely be reversed. I feel like this is a very, um, it feels very specific this reading. So it's probably going to be for just a small group of you. Um, but yeah, I'm getting here that by you pulling away and, you know, hiding this pain and not resolving it, it will, it will lead to a bit of a drama in this connection or even just for you. 
All right, so let me clarify the two of pentacles. Queen of Swords and the King of Wands. So this is all about finding, you know, your inner balance and how you can cope with this, how you can see the situation more clearly rather than with that moon energy, which is, you know, um, a little bit hidden, distorted. You know, seeing things more clearly, that is what is going to help you to overcome whatever, whatever this obstacle is. It's that clarity that will bring the success here to find that balance um, and to cope with whatever it is that has happened here. Now, this could also create a tower... It could even create a tower in another area of your life. For some of you, I feel like this is just a very, very specific message. If there is something else, this might actually be a trigger. Whatever's going on here, it might actually be a trigger for you to make some sort of another change that might also be painful. All right. Now, what I do see here, again, I feel like with this Knight of Cups, all of this, whatever it is that's going on here, whatever this trigger is, it is leading up to this Knight of Cups cups it is leading up to somebody bringing an offer of love to to the other so gemini if this resonated please do give me a thumbs up and let's see what your final oracle message is All right, and we have patience. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play while you wait. All right, so yeah, I feel like, you know, be patient before um, jumping to conclusions, basically. Um, being patient even with yourself to work through this rather than creating a drama. I really feel like, you know, when it comes to future energies, they can be shifted. It's up to you, and I feel like that was the message here that really it's up to you um, how to handle this. So pause before you take action. You know, allow yourself to see things, to see things clearly. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.